Adobe Premiere Pro is a very robust multi-camera editor. In fact, we have a complete course available in the online library that explores multi-camera production and editing, which I'd encourage you to check out. There's a small change in 2017 that'll be particularly useful for those folks working with complex multi-camera sequences. In this example, I have two different multi-camera tracks on top of each other. Maybe you're doing a complex cut with many angles. Well, in this case, I want you to see an important distinction. Currently, we have tracks V1 and V2 targeted. If I make a change in the multi-camera editor, you'll notice that the change doesn't appear to be visible. Well, that's because right now, track V1 is updating. That's because Premiere Pro, by default, always targets the lowest track for any behavior. Well, that means if you're doing a lot of editing, you'd have to remember to come over here and turn that off and then turn it back on when you want. But instead, we now have an option under the settings icon when you're in multi-camera view, and that allows you to turn on an option called multi-camera selection top down. Now what happens when you make an edit is that it's going to automatically choose from the top. You'll see in this case that the top track is the one that's updating as I make a selection with multi-camera. This means that without having to retarget tracks on the left here, you can drive what's going to update very quickly. This can be useful if you have several multi-camera clips in a single sequence. Remember, you can also map this option to a keyboard shortcut. So if I go to keyboard shortcuts and I just type in the word top, I can map this. Here we go, top and multi-camera selection top down. Well, in this case, let's try mapping that to a key. How about Option Shift M? There we go. Now I can turn that option on and off just with a keyboard shortcut. You'll see right now it's on. Press it again. And it's off. Again, this is a very subtle change, but was designed for power users working on complex sequences like multi-camera concerts or live events where they may have 20 or 30 angles. Many folks decide to put multi-cameras into groups so that they have key elements in one track and then some of the secondary items on a different track. You might not find this feature useful, but I guarantee you there are some very happy multi-camera editors out there.